It seems like forever, but for nearly a decade, we haven't had a college basketball game to play on console. Now, I'm here to change that, and I'm excited to let you guys know I've been working with a roster creator, and we are officially releasing something that we're calling College Hoops 2K17, featuring teams like Duke, Baylor, Kansas, Kentucky, Arizona, UCLA, all the big-name programs, 36 teams in total that I think you guys will be excited about. The guy I've been working with, his name is DCowboys125. His Instagram handle is on the screen right now. Make sure you give that guy some major love, because without him, this would not have happened. And this is going to work on both the Xbox One and the PlayStation 4. And if you're excited for this, and if you're happy to finally see it happen, make sure you guys hit the like button. Let's go for a thousand likes on this video. Now how you do is you go to the options menu, you go to roster creator, and then you click on create a roster. Now from there you get a bunch of different options to download. But what you want to do is you want to hit the triangle button on PS4 or the Y button on Xbox One. Search by gamertag. There's a bunch of different gamer tags you can use. On Xbox One you can use DCowboys125. On Xbox One you can also use WhoIsDo. Or on PS4 you use Skill as Kill. Those are the people that you can actually download these gamer tags from or download this roster from. And here's what you basically get. You get Lonzo Ball and UCLA are tied to the Warriors. But I'm going to show you guys how to actually get these teams from the Warriors to their actual college team. So you want to set up a My League. It's important that you do a My League. So go click on My GM My League. Scroll down to a new franchise and set yourself up one. And here's how it works. So you get all these different options. Scroll over to My League. Go ahead and select that. On this screen, you want to go to Custom League. And it's important that you press Y or Triangle to use a custom roster. Don't use the base roster. Use a custom roster. So use the one that you just downloaded. Mine is called College Hoops 2K17. For my gamer tag, you want to hit Start in a regular season. Do not start in the off season. And on this screen, you're going to be using all all the NBA teams that are already there. There's a few blank spots that you're going to fill in. So right here you can see that I have Alba Berlin. Uh, I also have EA7. Uh, a couple of different teams. So basically you can put six different teams in. I did leave USC out. If you want the entire list of teams that I have, there's a link down below in the description with how to map those teams and how to actually get it all going. Now you're going to play 35 games or you can play more if you want. I recommend 10 minute quarters. Uh, you want to turn fantasy draft off, league expansion, you can keep on in case you want to add other teams, but you want to make sure that 13 players are protected so that there's really no movement at this place. Salary cap, you want to turn that off. Hard cap, that's also going to be turned off. Trade logic should also be off. This is very important. Turn trade logic off. Injuries, you can be on or off depending on your own preference there. Uh, I would turn player progression up to about a 75. Player regression, I would turn down to a zero. Gameplay difficulty, completely on you. On the select the user team, you want to make sure you hit the Y button or triangle to select all teams, and then you want to hit advance. It's very important that you select all teams here. Now the first option you get is about loading a draft class. D Cowboys 125 actually has a really good high school draft class, so I recommend this. This way you get some incoming freshmen that go to different teams. So you want to enter his gamer tag again, it's D Cowboys 125, spelling it out completely on the screen there for you guys. And when you do that, you'll see his 2017 high school class or NCAA roster. Go ahead and download that. You can choose yes or no for the storylines. I personally choose yes in this case. Now, what you do is using the right stick, you can slide the different teams. So right now I have the Jayhawks selected. If I go to team relocation and then team download management, I can download team designs. You want to search for NCA, not NCAA, but NCA. The first one is probably going to be me. So you see the creator is who is due. See other designs by the creator. And here is where I have uploaded all of the jerseys in one single spot for you guys. So each time you're changing a team over, all the jerseys will be in one single spot. If you guys want to see kind of different uniforms or have different requests, leave me a comment below and tell me which jerseys I should be adding. But once you add every single team, again, using the right stick, going to team relocation and doing that method right there, you'll see all the different players. So Jason Tatum on Duke, uh, with Luke Kennard, Grayson Allen, Emil Jefferson, Harry Giles, all of those big guys. And then look at the high school draft class. You'll see Michael Porter Jr., Kevin Knox, Colin Sexton, Trevon Duell. A lot of big players out there for you guys to have. So again, I'm hoping you guys are excited for this. You're going to see every player listed as a age 34, 35, 36, or 37. That's where they kind of leave after a year or retire after their senior year. You have a lot of different turnover in the league, but if you guys are enjoying this and you want to see more of these videos, maybe I'll do my own My League where I stream it on YouTube. Leave me a comment down below. Tell me your feedback. Tell me what you think of this roster. Once you download it, let me know what you think. But always hit the like button. Leave me a comment with your full feedback. Don't forget to subscribe and check the playlist on the screen, and I will catch you guys in the very next video.